and welcome to the Lovell Craft Lulu layering stencil how-to video. Uh, this is a set of layering stencils that will help you build a VW inspired camper van shape. My name is Jenny. I am the co-owner of Lovell Crafts along with my mum Sue. Uh, we hope you enjoy this layering stencil set. It's a set that's quite close to our hearts. Uh, so I hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Let's get crafting. So with this set of layering stencils, you get this booklet. Uh, this booklet gives you a little bit of information. It's what we're going to be going through today, but it's good to have it down for reference. Um, it shows the different layers that you can use to build your stencil and then gives you a how to step by step on how to build up your image. And then the back it talks a little bit about using background masks and some hints and tips to get you going with the stencils. So there are seven stencils in this set. There are four that make the actual camper van itself. I'll show these four. So in your booklet, it names each layer. So this is the head layer. This is the body layer. This is the metal layer. And then you have the shadows layer. Now my shadows layer is a little bit grubby um, because I am not great at cleaning things. And I left glitter paste on here for maybe a couple of days. And of course it hasn't come off. It doesn't affect the stencil in any way. Um, it just doesn't look great. But of course you'll get a nice pristine clean set of stencils. This is just my, my stencil set. Um, and they are pre-loved. So also with these stencil set, you will also get the background, which is a flower power. Kind of stencil and we've designed them to fill the whole page so if you wanted to use this background stencil just by itself uh, you can and then along with this we also have the inner and outer masks so this just allows you to use this whole background and you can use the mask to just take off the areas that you don't want the background on but we'll go through backgrounds a bit later in this in this video So this is just a piece of white cardstock. Uh, it's not particularly heavy in any way. Um, I like to do all my designing onto a piece of cardstock first because it allows me to have a play with the design, see what kind of background I want to put in, and then I can decide on what size card that I want to put it on. Uh, it also means that if something goes wrong in one little bit, you can cut that bit off and go asymmetrical. You can come up with a design rather than it being a waste. Uh, you can go back and change the card to your what you've made on your piece of paper completely up to you um if you want to go straight onto the card you, you can it's not a problem at all just what your personal preference is so we're going to start off with the first layer which is the head layer now the thing with all level craft stencil sets is that in the top left and the bottom right there are little notches cut out so this uh, helps with two things. It means that you can layer up your stencils really nicely because you can go to these little cuts. But it also means that you make sure that you've got your stencil the right way up. So if you have it this way, it's going to move work slightly differently to if, it, if you have it this way. So when you're doing it, always make sure that you are top left and bottom right are where your little notches are. So we're just going to take this down. This is just a inexpensive frog tape. We like inexpensive. Uh, and the notches, I would suggest you doing this in a pencil so you can rub them out later. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to mark them up quite heavily so you can see them. You can mark this up in any way that you want. You don't have to mark it up. This one does actually work where you can do it by eye quite easily. Um, but have a play with the stencils and just see. Uh, what what works for you? Just going to slightly reposition that flat. So I am going to use some distress oxides today because I love using distress oxides. So not only are they quite easy to blend, uh, they also clean off the stencil really easy as well. You just have to run them under a bit of water and and, and the ink comes straight off. So today I'm going to use the black set, fossilized amber, weathered wood, and some mowed lawn. Thank you. 
So on the head layer, I'm going to use the Fossilised Amber. This is just an inexpensive cosmetic brush that you can pick up pretty much anywhere quite cheaply. I like using these um, over the foam pads because I think you get a better um, movement of the ink. But you use whatever you're comfortable with. The foam pads work just as well on these. So I want I don't want it to be a solid block of colour. I want there to be a few changes in colour. And I'm just working my way around. And then coming in with our second layer, which is the body layer. So notches in the top left and the bottom right, and I can use them as a guide, but then I can also just double check that I'm happy with the placement of it. Come up a little bit. Then I can take those down. And now I'm going to come in with the Mode Lawn Distress Oxide. Again, I'm just going to... So when I'm doing this, I, I like to sort of start on the stencil itself and then go into, and it kind of gives you a sort of a stronger line at your edges. But it also means that it blends a little bit nicer and you don't get too much splodginess. Not forgetting the wing mirrors. So that's the second layer done. And it's already beginning to look van like. So this one is the metal layer. So again, I'm just going to line it up the corners, but I can also just eyeball it just to make sure that I'm happy with. Where I put it, it looks pretty good. Um, this time I'm coming in with the weathered wood. Now, another beauty about using distress also ex distress oxides is that you already have ink down here, but the distress oxide, because it's a nice thick ink will go straight over the top of it so as long as you're putting a darker color over a lighter color then it will cover it and it means that you don't get any gaps or splodgy bits So do my windscreen wipers. And then my final layer, which is the shadow layer of shame. And again, I'm just, I've lined it up with my bottom left top left, bottom right even. But I'm also then just checking it to make sure that I'm happy with the alignments around here. And then I'm going to come in with my black set. And again, just go all the way over. Now, this bit in the middle, you could do it black, you could do it the same colour as whatever you're doing these, you could do it a completely different colour, completely up to you. They're all far apart enough that if you want to use different colours, you can. So just coming in and doing the windows.
and hey presto you have a lovely stenciled camper van so now we're going to add a background now you can do this before you put your image down again i'm just doing this in the way that i prefer it so this is the inner stencil and what this allows us to do is place that over the top of what you've just inked which then protects it so then you can come with your background and create a background see so and then you won't end up with ink over where you've done it so it'll look like it it's in the background uh, the beauty of this mask is that you could make this background as big as you want it does repeat quite happily uh, for a five and a half by five and a half square card this is enough so I'm just going to lay it over there and then I'm going to come in with a bit of let's go peacock feathers because let's face it it's the best ink out of all of them it's a beautiful beautiful colour and again I'm just going to lightly go all the way around you can tape down your mask I'm just being incredibly lazy here and not taping down my stencil at all so it's going to go one of two ways just be mindful that if you do put tape over where you've inked it might pick up some of the ink so you have to be incredibly careful when you undo it especially if the ink is still a bit wet Oh, a little bit of movement. That's good. There we go. Over there. So you could then come back in, put your mask back over if you wanted to. You could then change your orientation of the background, put some more in if you wanted a really full uh, flower power background. Uh, so to finish these off, uh, there is this licensed little plate area that's great to put a little sentiment. You can either handwrite something in there or you can uh, stamp something in there. Uh, there's plenty of stamp scents out there that have nice little uh, sentiments that you can put on things. And you can either ink or heat emboss something in here. Uh, what we like to do is use a bit of uh, glitter paste or sparkle paste for the lights. So the easiest way to do that, as my central shouts, no more, no more. If you just pop this back over the top, you can then use your shimmer paste to go over these bits. And that gives you a bit of a sparkly effect like this. So you get this sort of light effect. You could also use something like glossy accents, uh, some shimmer pens, Nouveau drops, anything like that, just to give it a bit of uh, dimension if you want to add a little bit of dimension to it. So a few examples of the ones we've made. So this one has a little the Simon Says Stamp sentiment down here saying you're the coolest. And it's got the glitter, it's got two different glitter paste colours in it. And then we have the Wonder One. Now you might see that this one is slightly smaller than this one. We do actually do this set in two different sizes. We have one set. This set uh, makes a camper van, which is about 12 centimetres square. So that's just under five inches, top to bottom, left to right. And then we have this second one, which is 10 centimetres square, which is about four inches. So depending on what size ones you want to make. They're both available from the Etsy shop. So we have the larger size and the smaller size. This one actually uses a background from our guitar set uh, with a little sentiment that says, you rock again, black and white works really beautifully. Now you might see that we haven't actually inked this head bit. Uh, this is quite a simple thing to do. So what we do is find our head layer. So all you would do 
is you would have your head layer and rather than inking it you just draw around the outside so you don't have to ink every single layer of this you see and then when you put your next stencil over the top let's go for another purple van we can so this is dusty concord it's going to have a little bit of green mixed in there as well because obviously i haven't cleaned off my stencil because you've all learned i'm not great at that so this is just a quick example to show you how to have a white top So that would then create the outside that then you can put the rest of the layers on but it basically just means that you don't have to have a coloured top you can just go for a white top nice and easy so it's great using little sentiments for the middle or little embellishments for the middle uh, again this one's using the copper one little love you Nice little Valentine's card for anyone that's into camper vans. Uh, this one, again, is the smaller one. So, again, you can kind of see the different sizes of how they go. So, the smaller set and the larger set. Uh, this is one that we made today, and we are super excited about this one. So, this is an easel card. So, inside, we've put the background in there in a nice little multifunction, multicolored way. Uh, and this, we've used the background stamp actually within the body itself. So if I show you how to do that as well. So let me just get rid of these. So again, I'm just going to quickly tape this down. And I would like a white top to this. So again, I'm just going to put my draw around. This is just a black rollable pen stolen from my father's desk, much to his underlight, I suspect. And I'm going to say, so making sure top left, bottom right, my notches. Take that down. Now with this card, I've also done a sort of tie dye effect. And this was very easily done using these three inks. So if I want to do a rainbow with anything, these are the inks that I use. Because if you mix yellow with blue, you get your green. Your blue with your red, you get your purple. On your red with your yellow, you get your orange. So it's a really nice, simple way of making a rainbow. Uh, obviously, it's going to make a little bit of a, because I have purple and green on here. So I'm just going to go straight on. So I put my yellow down and I want to make sure that I've got space that I can put my blue and my red down for them to be individual colours. But then I can also mix them in and blend them together to make the other colours. So you're making secondary colours out of your primary colours. This is Mermaid Lagoon. Come down here. So where I mix that in with the yellow, I start to get a green.
There you go. Very quick and easy way of making rainbows with three colours of ink. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that one down there because now I want to put my flowers on. And if I leave that down, then it means the rest of it's nice and clear. So you could do this with our background stencil. You can do this with any stencil that you would like to do. I think I'm going to go with that placement. So again, more tape. And I'm just interested in the bit that I've just made my ink with. So I don't have to worry about what's going on out here. And I'm going to come in with some dusty Concord. And I don't have to be careful in any way, shape or form with it. Because everything is masked off underneath. So as long as I don't go over here, don't come off my flower background. I could, I could in there, if I wanted to go in there, I could. It will just sit on top of the other stencil. I'm sure it'll be nice and easy to clean off. And then you have the fun part, which is the reveal. Ta-da! So you get this. The fun flower power effect. So just because it's so easy to do, I'm going to carry on making this one because I love this effect. So again, I'll just quickly go in. A bit of weathered wood. I find that this works really nicely for the metallic part. You could use a metallic ink we've used silver on this and it works really nicely but just use whatever ink pads you've got So again, just coming in, the black set, which is beautiful and covers everything. Now you might also decide that you don't actually want your windows to be black. So again, you can just come in with a pen. and just draw them in. Ta-da! And now you have a flower power fan. So again, like I said, you can use whatever stencil you want on here. So if you have a nice one that says love or maybe some waves, anything can go on here once you've done your colouring underneath. Uh, another tip with these ones is, so with this one, I've gone around and just drawn a black line around all of it. Kind of gives it that illustrated look. So it, it can just give it that little boost that it needs feel that it needs anything that I quite like the effect you can just go around the stencils themselves use the stencils as a guide 
but I find using one of these pens great because it just kind of lifts it all, sort of makes it look hand-drawn almost. Gives it that illustrated look. And it doesn't matter if you're not completely on the lines, a little bit of a wobbly line never hurt anyone. Put maybe some zigzags on the tyres. Give it some tread. I'm already thinking about the shapes of it, just zigzags. Just could I put zigzags on? So there you go. The Lulu layered stencil, two cards in one. So I hope you found this video useful and helpful. If you have any questions, please do drop us an email or contact us through our Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram account. If you uh, buy a set and you make something, please do share it. We love to see what everyone makes with our cards. Uh, we love to see the inspiration people get and just the great cards that people make. So you're all brilliant out there and maybe you'll use the stencils in a, in a different way. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, I hope you are safe and well in these very strange times. Please take care and I will see you on the next episode.